Attempt number two. Greetings. It is I, Blue Eyes Twenty Three, who is having recording issues again. Um. Yeah, now it's working. I am redoing this episode because capture card does not like to cooperate with me. Uh, my cords were not plugged in properly the last time. I double checked them this time, so it should be fine. Probably quick check and make sure that the Xbox is plugged in. So the sound actually got cut. The game audio. Let me move my mic a little bit. And so I had problems with that, and then I thought it had glitched. It hadn't. Um, all my other subsequent retries, I do not like to be cooperative with me. So I am attempting this again. Hopefully my recording is cooperating because this is kind of important. If not, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to have to keep re-recording until I actually get the damn thing to work, I guess, because I don't have a good enough capture card right now. Also, hey, if you guys like this, just watching my shit, I have started live streaming. I've only done one stream so far. You might have noticed on my channel. Um, and I've been playing FTL. I want to get all the ships unlocked soon, though, before I start streaming again so that I can do more of an interactive mode. Anyway. You may notice I actually have Garrus with me instead of, I believe, Liara. Uh, this is an older file, so... I have a uh, level 53 Commander Shepard. Same appearance, really, so I don't really mess with anything else. Um, you may notice I have Spectre Training. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Charm, and then the Shock Trooper. Stuff maxed out, and fitness is on its way. I hate this thing, but I've gotten the achievement for it finally, so. Um, I think this might actually be my first file. I do not know for certain, though. I'm, yeah, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I don't think you can reach level 42 without playing it twice, and I think I only played my first file of the game twice. Anyway, um, another thing that's different is armor and the gear I've got. Um, all three of us have been outfitted, I believe, with, except for, like, a few things. Yeah, like, Tali's got the shotgun, while Garrus has the sniper rifle. She, he also has the level 7 pistol. There's not really much that's any better than Spectre gear, Master Gear, so, even, like, level 10 weapons. But, um, he's got the, you can get two of each of those, and that's it. But, the point is, uh, the level 10 gear is damn hard to get. Because you have to have, I believe I explained this achievement later, but I'm going to just quick go over it now. Uh, that's my, that's the latest achievement I got. Because I'm bad at this game, well, bad with sniper rifles anyways. This is the rich achievement. Once you break a million credits, which is not hard to do when you've got Spectre gear, because there's really not much better other than other Spectre gear. Um, you get... Well, you get the Spectre gear then, so you have, in order to, actually, I should have said this with the Spectre gear, because you don't get it. Yes, I have Sonic Unleashed on there. All of you can shut up. I also have Resident Evil 5. Thank you, Proton John and Super Genius. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick save right now because I do not trust my luck. Yeah, I was playing yesterday. I forgot this did European mode of... Um... Dates. Because I'm American. I used, I'm used to... It being uh, month, day, year instead of day, month, year. So, anyway, uh, getting back to actual game. In the last episode, we uh, had to fight the colonists. 
you're on Pharos. And you got to make them all fall asleep with anti-thorian gas, which is a good thing. Um, it'll only work on the colonists, so you, you can actually ask. Uh, another thing, if you, like me, have your charm or intimidate maxed out, you kind of keep Ethan Jung alive. I didn't even realize that was possible, so if you, I'll probably show him later. Uh, as you can see, I have 16 colonists left alive. And I think I might actually just be repeating everything that I did last time. Anyway, here we go. I don't know, I don't remember where the last one ended because, um... I don't have that recording on this computer, it's on my desktop, which is what I normally use to edit video. But anyway, yeah. Okay, so I did... I don't think I ran get points. So I did come down here um, beforehand, but whatever, I'm just gonna go back over it. I do not know how I got Renegade points, because I kept all of the colonists alive. There's 16 colonists, keep them all alive, and you get 32 Paragon points if you have not maxed out your Charm or Intimidate skill yet. Anyway, we're gonna just move along. Yeah, that's the wrong direction. Ugh. When I was playing this yesterday, I realized I should have called one of the videos Hello and welcome to I Got Hopelessly Lost Again because I always get lost on Pharos. Anyway. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... One thing I want to know is, we've been on this place for a while now. If you go by real time, it's been like a day. Why the hell aren't we under its control? And this is gross. Ew. Invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig and decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. You can hear an echo. That's probably because I have volume on my TV going because I like playing off my TV instead of my capture card. Because my capture card is about a second behind. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your I wonder why. Ah! Excuse me, combat time. I uh, will come back to my thought in a second. Okay. Slow those down for a minute. Um. No, my cap. My capture card's just being a little bit odd. Normally, it's got like two bars of uh, sound recording, so that kind of troubles me a little bit. Anyway, we are facing the Thorian and his creepers. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this. And this is a Thorian neural node. You blow the hell out of it. When it's dead. Yeah. We've stunned. I'm sure of that. We need to find more of these things. Thank you, Garrus. Yeah, um, instead of Liara, I have Garrus with me, like I said. And he spawns the bitch, the bitch again. That is seriously a nasty angle. I'm sorry, that's gross. Also, these creepers don't necessarily move. These will. Anything that you can actually see the triangle, the enemy's triangle on. 
Ah, Bionics! Sorry, I hate enemy Bionics. They often make you rag, y'all. Don't let them explode near you, because that's poisonous. Ugh. It's like 500 down. Okay, I'm gonna have to sell some shit when I get a chance. They're toxic, so don't let them explode too close to you. Clear. There we go, the road. Do the same thing you did to the last one. And we go in here. And I think he's automatically We don't have to go through the cutscene again. It's nice because I hate that freaking beat. It's gross. Also, uh, that was me. I have to have the cryo node, cryo ammo going on my gun, so, uh, it freezes when it's shot by me. And now you can see I, am actually, I was actually poisoned for a second there. That's because I was too close to a creeper when it exploded. I think she's alive, so we got another one. This way? Yeah. Oh, shut up! And I got the <laughs> biotic with a creeper, that's lovely. She dead? Good. Garrus, what you need to do with that is go that way. Ugh. So, like, several. A ton of mini gels, or um, gel. So, you, we need to go through here. Eh. Excuse me. And the last or second the last node. Creeper right by me. That's why I was meleeing instead of shooting. Second to last. Um, one thing you can try to do is melee the uh, colonists. Ah, that didn't work out too well for me. When I first played, I accidentally killed half of the <laughs> colonists. Uh, I think I mentioned that in an earlier story. Back on that crap, genetic nade. Uh, I'll wake up in a minute. Nope. Okay. I don't think these will wake up until a certain point. Or you kill enough of these guys, too. And... Bitch got broken, yeah. And that was dead already, okay. Weeeee! Okay. So I was def- I think there's like- Now that I think about it, there's probably six nodes. Three won't get up until four won't get up until you start shooting the note. Oh, that's probably one thing that's kind of funny about this is if you're shooting your if you accidentally shoot your teammates, they're just like, Stop that! Um, and now it's dead. So did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. 
but Saren is compelling. Venezia lost her way. Okay. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Venezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is simple. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. We have one thing, I just want to say it before I keep going, is Sovereign is the ship we saw at Eden Prime. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. Part of what you might be hearing also is my uh, computer. What's the Cypher? And why does Saren need so. it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. That analogy. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow. And I apologize to anyone who is photosensitive. Let Please stop watching. I'm gonna throw a Reach out to grasp mm. the threads that bind us. warning up, too. I probably should have done that on the Every first episode, too, or on the second episode, galaxy. too. Every idea is touched another mind. And I'm sorry, I'm talking over her, but, uh, just please stop watching your photos and see the light. And, yeah, I'm gonna throw up a warning on the, on the video when I'm... Yep, and I'm, yeah, I'm gonna throw up a warning about that on my, on the opening to the video, so. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Oh my gosh. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift, the experience of an entire people. It will take years time for a lot longer than it used to, to be, <laughs> like 15 minutes the first time. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to be oh. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now then, um... Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. 
They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. If you are playing Renegade, you can kill her. I don't advise it, though. She will not fight you if you choose to execute her. She'll just... Uh... Kneel down on the ground and let you pull, put a bullet through her brain, but I do not advise it. The colonists it, will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. It will not help you in the long run for this for these games. I can't believe it. John says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. And I think. This is actually the end of the video in the original. And there's Jong. Uh, just real quick, if you do not have maxed out um, Charm or Intimidate like I do, or really high, I think, because I don't know what the actual necessity is, I just booted up my Charm to maximum so that I don't miss out on Rex later, which, if you've played this game, you know what I mean. If you don't, keep watching. I have that part recorded already. Anyway, uh, this has been Blue Eyes White Lady 23. Thank you for watching and hopefully this recording works otherwise you're gonna be hearing me bitch about it in the second in another retry. Uh, see you guys later.